Hey, you tubers. You know who I am, because you can tell that you can look at me, right? You can see who I am. I am Smola. That's right. I, me, nobody else. Even if you search YouTube and you type in Smola, other people come up. Those aren't the real Smola. I am. Okay? That's me, the original. Okay? Check, you know, whatever you need to check, but I'm the original. Anyways, you can see that I've got this green screen going on. I've um, got some new lights. Um, I have lights everywhere, and um, I think about getting more. I'm trying this YouTube, um, I'm trying this green screen back here. I don't know how it's gonna work. I'm still trying to perfect the green screen. I think I have like a green outline on myself. Anyways, I haven't talked to people for a while, and I had some stuff to talk about. There's like several subjects, so I'm just gonna try to roll through, you know, just do a little, little um, leapfrog. <sighs> Uh, which you should never do with the unicorn, by the way. Thanks, SPF7. <laughs> First of all, um, Battle of the YouTube Nonsense. I just wanted to talk about briefly... Um, I didn't do a battle video for my first round. And partly that was because... Um, I'm on summer vacation and... Well, I'm lazy. Okay, I'm a, I'm a little lazy. Um, I never really got around to uh, doing a battle video and... But after like halfway through knowing that I wasn't doing a battle video, I was kind of thinking, well, if I don't do a battle video for this round, maybe the people will think, you know, well, maybe they'll, they'll look at my other videos and if they vote for me, it'll, they'll vote for me on, you know, my talent as opposed to the specific video I'm doing for that battle. So that's kind of how I felt about it. Um, so it was like first laziness and then my merit. You know what I mean? So like... I don't know, we'll see. My competitor though, she's um, she's a very interesting person and I've, you know, everybody here in this, you know, non-stars competition has a lot of talent and I don't know how far I'm going to get, but as far as I get, will be great. So thank you, Jen Love, again for including me in the contest. I humbly appreciate it. Wow. I think most people know that they used to measure beer and liquor in pints and quarts. Pints and quarts. And so the expression, mind your P's and Q's, means mind your pints and quarts, don't get too drunk, sir. Don't get too drunk. And I was thinking, um, and I saw this in a Sopranos episode, I was thinking, uh, you know, some of my teachers as a young child used to tell me to mind my P's and Q's. And now I wanna go back to those teachers and I'll be like, listen, do you think I was an alcoholic because I didn't drink when I was in fourth grade? No, that's not cool. First of all, it's illegal. Second of all, girls don't dig dudes who drink in the fourth grade. Third of all, I have no way of purchasing liquor or beer when I'm in the fourth grade. So it's impossible either way. Anyways, I thought that was interesting. I thought I would share it with you people. That's where the origin comes from. Please feel free to spread it around. But you have to like say, uh, I reference The Sopranos. A friend of mine is looking to brew kombucha tea and apparently there's a fermentation process that goes on so it takes like um, a week or two to brew this tea. But it cures a lot of things. Um, here are a couple of clips which I thought were interesting sound bites uh, from this interview by Betsy Pryor. I used to have symptoms every day of with a multiple sclerosis, kombucha tea. Tea brewed from a living culture of yeast and bacteria. I can now run a couple of blocks where before I, I used to trip over my foot. The under eye skin seems to have diminished. <laughs> I felt mentally retarded. Literally pull out environmental and metabolic toxins and remove them from your body. It's a miracle. That's interesting stuff. Compelling. Compelling even. If you have arthritis or diabetes or, um, you know, multiple sclerosis, apparently, any sort of ailment, um, kombucha tea will make you feel better about yourself overall, I am guessing. I wanted to talk about something that was, that's applicable to everybody in the world. Everybody in the world? And it's nothing that nobody has ever thought about, I don't think. Most people seek companionship um, if you're heterosexual or homosexual, or I guess asexual, but in, in the asexual case, I guess it's uh, futile to think about um, what I'm about to talk about. So 
So that joke's not gonna be funny until like five minutes down the road. Oh God, five minutes? Please don't let me talk about this for five minutes. Anyways, tears, tears of hotness. Not tears, she's so hot. She's so hot, it's unbelievable. No, tears of hotness. That's what I'm talking about. Um, we all know that people in the world are not all beautiful people. Now, beautiful spiritually, emotionally, I can't speak to that because I don't know all the people. But I do know physically that not everybody is beautiful, in my opinion, okay? I'm not, you know, I, in my opinion, I'm just gonna stop there. In my opinion, not everybody is beautiful. And so when I look out at the world, or if I'm at the mall, or, if I'm out driving or wherever I am and I see couples and whatnot, I just notice that there's a tear of hotness. You know what I mean? And like people from different tiers don't really mix together, okay? It just doesn't happen. Like you don't see people from the top tier and people from the bottom tier mixing together. It just doesn't happen, you know what I mean? In my short, and I just want to say short because I've only lived a quarter of my life, in my short experience in this world, I see that people on the same tiers date each other, okay? So like, unattractive people generally date unattractive people because attractive people aren't attracted to unattractive people, hence unattractiveness. And that's a sad, sad thing. Determining which tier you're on is a very delicate process. Now, if you misjudge your tier, you could be very disappointed. Like, let's say your tier is here, yet you judge yourself, chow, and so you go to a girl that's chow, and you say, hey baby, <laughs> how, are, how are you doing, what's going on? Uh, you want to hang out sometime or you know uh, maybe play some video games or whatever take a walk in the, in the park by the lake you know down by by that alley where that guy got shot in his face uh, you know just talk and the girl looks at you like Ugh. Ugh. like she just ate a piece of poop imagine what a girl's face looks like when she just eats a piece of poop. That would be horrible to witness. When you just come on to a girl and then she looks at you like that, that's horrible, it's devastating. Absolutely devastating. If you want to transcend your tear, I think that it's a very complex challenge that you will have to first confront and then defeat. First of all, you need this sort of air of confidence, which I've talked about before. Second of all, you need a sort of, um, you need a look at some point. I mean, you have to be able to change the way people see you. So like, if people see you like this, or if you see yourself like this and you're like, um, I'm kind of like this, then you need to find a look like, that will, you know, amplify the inner beauty. Because what you're trying to do is trick those on the upper tiers. You're looking up and you're like, I'm coming for you. That's right, I'm coming for you. And they don't know what's gonna hit them. Because you're gonna come at this with this, you're gonna, you're gonna come at them with this sensitivity, this um, unknown strangeness, this feeling of Safety. You know what I mean? And they're not going to know what's going on and you're going to have this advantage over them and that's what you need. Of course, I have no idea what I'm talking about because I've never put these things into practice and I'm just theorizing and I could really have no idea. I'm out of stuff to say, so I'm just going to let everybody go and um, hopefully I will talk to everybody later. Welcome to the new subscribers who I have gained from the Battle of the YouTube non-stars or from elsewhere. It's always good to see you. I hope that I can continue to entertain you from here on out. I hope you're having fun. Peace.